Hello, America. Welcome to Culture Club USA. I'm Debrava. In today's episode of Crime and Culture Unfiltered, we'll check in on a lowly battered boyfriend as he runs a cover operation to protect his abusive girlfriend from a night in the county jail. Will he be successful? Ooh, let's find out. Hey. On July 15th, 2022, officers responded to a 911 call about a domestic disturbance from a neighbor. They advised that a female was yelling and physically attacking a male. How's it going, man? Good. Hey, were you just walking with the with the girl? Huh? Were you walking with the girl no. down Pate Street or anything like that? Okay, we got a call. It's a guy possibly getting smacked around by a girl in a pink shirt, so... We're just checking there. You're good. Someone down there, but you saw somebody down there. Pink shirt. What's all the scratches on your neck, man? Right here. Yeah. 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 What's your? Do you have an ID on you, bro? I don't. You don't. What's your name, man? I don't need to tell you. Yeah. No. Look, bro. I mean, it doesn't need to be complicated, man. Okay. We're not breaking the laws. So I didn't. I know, but I have a lawful reason to stop you. No. Okay. What? Because we got dispatched. You matched the description of the guy that was getting beat up by a girl. Okay. You have injuries on your neck. All right. <laughs> I can't believe what we're watching. <laughs> People are calling the cops now on girls that are beating their boyfriends. <laughs> this is good. First of all, okay, look, if you're going to try and like hide the fact that your girlfriend was beating you, you might want to take your Mets shirt off. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. It don't matter. It does matter. Okay, good. You don't have an ID on you, man? No, I don't know. You don't? What's your name? I don't feel like I don't need to tell you that. Okay, you feel like that, but... I haven't broken no laws. I understand. Laws. Listen listen to I me. I haven't committed a crime. I don't need to provide you with that. Okay, but listen to me. I'm telling you. Okay, just listen. I have a lawful reason to stop out and talk to you, okay? So you have a lawful reason to identify yourself to me. If you, do, crime. if you don't want to identify yourself to me, I'll take you to jail for concealing your identity. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. Bro... What's gonna happen if I tell you my name? You're gonna leave me alone? Can I walk away? We're gonna go. We'll go from there. Okay. What, what, but if you don't, if you don't, if you don't tell me your name, you're I'm gonna go straight to jail. I understand that. I understand that. Okay. You gotta understand that. I have a job to do. I have a job to do. Okay. You have scratches on your neck. Okay. Which are signs of some kind of battery. All right. Which charges? Which are probably from your, Which are probably from your girlfriend, right? If I don't want to press charges, we're fine, right? It, it's probably from your girlfriend, right? No matter. Okay. So actually, no, if he doesn't want to press charges, that does not mean she is not going to be arrested. Ooh, and I may, I'm sorry, it's not a Mets shirt. It looked like it. It looks like some baseball thing. But I'm just saying, you know, take your shirt off, like take your glasses off, do something. Put a hat on. <laughs> oh, if it's from your girlfriend, that means it's a domestic violence. Yeah. Okay. So which means I have to investigate it and I'm authorized to take some kind of action on it. Okay. If you don't want to do anything about it, we can let the courts and all that know. Okay. I don't want to do anything about it. I understand that. Well, I'm obligated by state law. Uh, I feel like uh, I'm obligated by state law to do something about this. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. All right. I've I've I've, 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 I've laid shouldn't be talking. I've to you. I've laid it all out on the line for you, man. I thought I didn't commit okay? a crime. I did. I I get that. I get that. Okay, but I don't know that for a fact yet. All right. So, are you going to give me your name or not? Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you, last time, okay, I have a lawful reason to stop you and identify you, okay? If you don't want to identify yourself, we can just take you straight to jail for concealing your identity. Why, if I committed no It's crimes. that. You guys are dicks, honestly, you nigga, like. No, we're actually investigating. I, 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 see, I see what you guys are doing, like, I okay. you guys are doing your job, obviously. Okay, fine. so why are you keeping me from doing my job? I'm not keeping you from doing your job. You could go talk to the person down there, like I said. You didn't. You haven't. You haven't. Committed you haven't. Committed you, committed no you haven't said anything. Why are you trying to f me? Because I have the lawful reason to identify you. That's why. Because you were involved in the incident that you are now talking about. I'm not. I didn't say nothing. You did. You yeah. just said to go down there and talk to the person that did do it. I didn't. Okay. Say, okay. So why are you talking to me? Jeez, why not just give him your name already and keep it moving? Throw your girlfriend under the bus because clearly she was beating you. All right, this is what you can tell. This is one of these fiery relationships. All right, it never ends well. Think about it. It never ends well, okay? 
because I don't know who I'm going to talk to. <laughs> I know what the f I can't because you're not giving me any information, man. Be the victim. I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to press charges. I don't want anything. Do whatever that. Now, this is a great example of how culture affects crime and crime affects culture, okay? Culture says, especially a man, can't snitch, okay? Culture says that it's not okay for a man to admit that a woman is beating him, okay? Culture says that's called a simp. <laughs> so look what he's doing right now. Now he's going to incriminate himself. She's still going to get in trouble. All right. Because she's clearly crazy. I'm sure we're going to, I mean, we saw her kicking the door in, in the beginning. I mean, in the police car. So can you imagine what he's dealing with? But culture tells him, don't be a snitch. Don't be a simp. All right. I mean, I don't understand why it's so hard to give you, to give me your name. If you don't want to do anything about this, we'll, I mean, I can go down there and try to figure... I ain't giving it, statements. Listen, I ain't listen giving, to me. Listen. I ain't pressing no charges. So what are you guys going to do? Just take my name and f*** me more? No. Or not take your name and take you straight to jail for concealing your identity. Concealing my identity. That, is, that in itself is a crime. So you are committing a crime at the moment that I could take you to jail on. So you guys could, you guys are able to stop someone that's walking on the public street Correct. and ask them for their ID whenever you want. No. What I'm telling you, what you is doing? I was dispatched to this. No, no, that's not what he's saying. What he's going to say is that somebody called in and said a person with a description that looks just like you was getting beaten by a female. OK, somebody reported it. And there's proof of that because they got the call on tape. <laughs> Area for domestic disturbance between a chick with a pink shirt and blonde hair and a male in all black. Yeah. Okay? You fit the description. You got injuries on your neck, which means you got beat up by a chick. Okay? So I have a lawful reason. I have a lawful reason to stop and identify you. Okay? That, that's where we're, I'm laying it all out here for you, bro. I'm not being, I'm trying not to be a dick. I'm trying not to be a douche. So, okay? I can take your name down. Okay? I can see if we have you in our system so that we can go from there, figure out if you're associated with anybody else that we can go talk to, get the other side of the story, and we can go from that point, okay? What I'm telling you, I, I would prefer not to take you to jail because you're right, you haven't done anything wrong, okay? But at the moment- That we know. At the moment, you are committing a crime by not giving me your name and your date of birth. I just don't want to get in trouble, but I didn't do nothing. Okay. But okay, this is why men, everybody listen, okay? This is why you have to be very careful who you choose, okay? Because look what this girl has done. You can't have some wild, insane, you know, girl that's going to, you know, d cause domestic disturbances in the street and argue with you and just be all this nonsense, okay? It, it's not, it, it may seem fiery and exciting in the beginning, but now look, you're going to get arrested probably and go to jail because you're refusing to throw her under the bus. Seriously. And some other civilian reported it as a domestic dispute. This is the problem. Okay? Stop dating these modern women. They're nothing but trouble. <laughs> you not wanting to get in trouble is getting in trouble. Because you are committing a crime. You want to guys fo want to follow me? No, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. Was hitting me? I, I'll show you guys where to that. No, no, no. Let's go. No, I want to stay right here. Why? You guys okay. are you guys are talking to me, but you don't want to talk to the person that's committing a crime. Yeah. That's where you guys are. No. But I am talking to the commercial, the person that's committing the crime now. I mean, no crime. You are here concealing your identity I from me. You know how stupid this is? This is the one thing. Is he not thinking? They are going to approach her, and she's going to give your name. <laughs> so just do it! I mean, why? Why would you risk going to jail? She's going to tell them who you are anyway. They're going to find out. <laughs> so just tell them your name. Walk with me. Once we get there, I will tell. I will tell you. No, that's name. not. That's not how this. That's not how, how this works. Want to I want you to give me your name, <laughs> bro. And while he's talking to you, I'm going to go down there and talk to her. Well, I'm down. To, we could all talk with each other. Like I'm. I'm not trying to. Okay, I get that. I'll go in the car with you. I'll, we'll go down there. I don't care. 
okay. Like I, I get, said, but that's the thing. I don't know. Again, what, I don't right, know. Who we'll we'll drive down the street? What's the address? I'm not. I don't know. I'm not from here. You're not from here. No, I'm not. So we go in the car. Once we get on there, once we're in the car, I'll tell you. My- oh God, he's not from there. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you met her on Instagram. <laughs> don't tell me this is the first time that you met her in person. <laughs> Because where are you from? Now, if you're lying about that, too, you're going to get in even more trouble. Okay? Because now you're deceiving officers or whatever they're going to say. I mean, come on. I mean, we go down there and we can talk to the person that's coming in the okay. room. All right. Let's go do that. Then. I'm not getting in the back of here. You have to get in the that's back the of the car. Then I'll walk right in front. No, I, that's not. I that's, hate that's, in the back of the car. That's not how that works, man. Yeah, you, have to get, you have to get in the back of the car. You have to get in the back of that one, though. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let me get you. So instead of just giving his name, this fool is, you'd rather get in the back of a police car? (laughs) They give him your name? Are you kidding? (sighs) Yeah, I'll call you back. I love you. So what's going on? I, I just had an argument. It's nothing serious. I'm sorry. It was more on my part. So I give him my ID and the picture. Okay, where's your ID? Ah, uh, right here. There you go. It just expired. No. <laughs> That's me. That was my old address. I lived with my parents then. I just graduated high school about three years ago. So that's where I'm at now. I came to... New Mexico. Visit- I just came to visit my mom. Any salons on here? Where? By Subway, the salon. So I was just kind of helping. I'm leaving back to Albuquerque tomorrow, and I do have court cases. So what's your relationship? <laughs> okay, well, that's why he's saying he's not from there, because the two of them are visiting from Albuquerque, you know, from out of town. They're visiting her mother wherever they are right now. And she's sitting here saying, I do have to go back because I have court cases. <laughs> Relationship with this guy? Uh, that's my boyfriend for about a year now. Okay. And so what's going on between you two? Just a verbal argument. But like I said, we're both at my mom's shop right now. And it was nothing extravagant. Okay. It's more than a verbal argument because we had people calling in saying that a female was hanging on the shirt of a male. Like that. And there is screaming, so. I mean, you can check me and you can go to the no, shop. He's and bleeding, you're bleeding. I mean, you can talk to all of us, though, but no, he, he didn't do anything like that to me. If anything, it's myself and my nails. Look at my nails. Okay, right what there. happened? I scratched myself. I do get pretty crazy myself. I put nothing on him. So what I happened know to your in knee? my law enforcement and my dictionary and stuff, you guys can't charge anything. What did she just say? Like, here, here we go again. Another one that knows the law better than the law establishment. Okay. Better than the police. She is she gonna be reading them their rights next? But she's the one with cases in Albuquerque that she's gotta get back to tomorrow. <laughs> you guys can't charge anything. In your what? Law enforcement? No, I'm saying my, my, like, my rights. I'm sitting here and telling you right now, like, I'm fine. He's fine. You have an address. You have my ID. I can give you my social security right now. I'm no problem with that, sir. Okay. It's just, I don't want no problems. This is my man. We had an argument. That's it. Sorry. Okay. Well, but, I have a problem when that, people job, have a... Uh, but it's also one Okay. If you ever have another problem. Okay. Knock. When someone batters another person in a domestic you violence... Do you know did they just hear us arguing? She says, I yell. I yelled like a mother. I am like, it's not even him half the time. It's me. Yes. I will completely say that. I'll go to jail right now for that. Okay. That's me. Let me go, baby, baby. Leave him the f out of it, though. You're a f- involved ass f- 
fucking fat. Why does he go? Hey, don't you. Respectfully, do not touch her like that. I'm telling you, respectfully, do not touch her like that. Stop. Tries to kick me. Oh my god! I mean, do you see how quick that just happened? He, he, uh, look at this. I mean, you're sitting here talking. Just arrest me right now. You know, here we go. It goes from this to. Bam! And she's like down on the ground. I mean, wow. Well, she's gonna get resisting arrest for sure. Respectfully, do not touch her like that. I'm telling you, respectfully, do not touch her like that. Tries to kick me. I mean, she's kicking. Look at these. Look at her legs flying. And by, look at him over here, though. Respectfully, don't touch her like that. He just got beat up by a girl, but now he's gangster. <laughs> oh, he's gangster because he has to be. Because <laughs> the cams are on. <laughs> Culture. Don't touch her like that. Stop. Tries to kick me. You. <laughs> My girl like that, bro. Wow, she just like kicked his glasses off his face and everything. I mean, she must have been in gymnastics or something. <laughs> I mean, she looked like she was about to do a back handspring and get up like something in a movie scene. Ah, my girl like that, bro. Yeah, she fucking She just broke my glasses. <laughs> oh, chill the f out for real. Am I getting arrested? No, no, no. This is. They can never breathe, you know what I'm saying? It's like, no one can ever breathe. There's a few things. You're hurting me! You're hurting me! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I mean, the scream, help, help! I mean, it's like, people, clearly you're out of control. Well, you can kick me, can't you? Bro, the f out! Upstairs. Move your foot in there, hurry up. <laughs> she kicked me in the face. Uh, hey, stop. 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 I hope she's gonna buy me some new glasses. Hang on, let me go get my shot. Got another horror film actress over here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, this is West Coast drama. <laughs> I mean, she's getting cuffed by the ankles, too. I mean, Lord. Let go of me. Let go. Let go. Now. Let go. Let go. Tell me. Stop. Tell me. Stop. Oh, my God. She's got the officer's hand. That's what they're telling her to let go. <laughs> She's grabbed him by the This girl, can you imagine what she was doing to her boyfriend? And he wouldn't give his name and, and press charges on her? Get rid of her as fast as you can. Okay, at least you have the, the, the sense to stay calm. Okay, except when you were trying to, you know, be, you know, a, a gangster <laughs> with the police. Stop. Kill me. No, stop. Where my my uncle Ryan Rodriguez. Hold on. Come, mother. See what the stop. Stop. Kill you. You ain't prepared to. Yeah, I think it's coming. Yeah, call him. Call him. Call him. Oh, okay. So her uncle's a cop, and they're not compared to him. And this is where also culture comes in. So she thinks that she can just go around assaulting and doing whatever she wants, you know, acting crazy, kicking the police in the face, breaking glass, doing all kinds of stuff, right? Because her uncle's going to call and get her out, okay? Yeah, that's how culture 
of X Prime, entitled Brian. Hey, settle down. Hey, hey, call Ryan right now. No, Ryan doesn't matter. Okay, it matters. That's why you like calling him, right? Stop. Call him. No. Call him, mother. Call my uncle Ryan. Um, yeah. Be a. Okay. Call my uncle Ryan. Stop. Call him. Settle, settle down. I'm not calling Ryan. Get your fucking of a woman by yourself. Okay. Okay. You need handcuffs. Yeah. Shut okay. up. Stop. Hey, settle down. You fucking fuck of a woman by yourself. You have to have four. Bob, pick me up. There's two. Oh my god, but there ain't one, right? There's two. You'll like that. You'll like that. Hey, settle down. I'll be a four. By myself, and you can't be one. You didn't even be one. Get me there. That's why one cop had you in handcuffs. 34 cop. Son of a bitch, you dirty. I just like you're already on the ground. Not only are you in handcuffs, you're in ankle cuffs. Okay, you're not going anywhere. And you're in a lot of trouble already. You're going to keep adding fuel to the fire by screaming. Now you're talking crap about his wife. <laughs> I mean, come on. How do you expect cops to treat you with any respect if you're conducting yourself like this? This kind of behavior doesn't get anything but the antithesis of respect. That's why you have to Hey, will you get your... Do you have a spit hood, Jake? What? A spit hood? Oh, the Hannibal Hector spit hood is coming again! <gasps> I was gonna go along with the shit out of your wife. You f***ing pan suit all high and mighty. Shut the f*** up, she don't even love you. She cheats on you every f***ing day, bro. Get that f***ing. We're talking to a fine ass man that makes a good income. I don't even have a wife. <laughs> so she'd have a hard time cheating on me. Oh, oh. I'm a 21 year old. Look at him. Oh, One request. Yes, ma'am. Go tell my mom. What the? F no, I'm gonna warn the jail. Okay. For him. No, ah! Oh! I get off the floor. Go tell her. Turn this way. Go tell her. Turn this way. Roll Go on your side. Go tell her. Roll on your side. Go tell her. Hey. Go tell my mom I'm going to go. Okay, we we will. No, f no, do it first. <laughs> she's, she's ordering the cops around. Go tell my mom I'm going to jail. We will. No, do it first. I mean, what do you think is going to happen here? <laughs> mom, she's going to jail. Go tell her. Okay, come on. All right, f with you, bro. Sit down. Uh oh. Sit down. No one's gonna know. I'm gonna f*** jail, huh? Uh -huh. He's got a good horse kick. Which side, Jake? This side, side. Bro! Either side. Yeah. <laughs> hey, have a seat. Get your no! No! Come on, sit up in there. No! You either gotta sit in there or you're gonna get dragged in. You coming? No. So sit up. No, you f***ing Okay. Your wife cheats on you three times a f***ing day, you dirty I'm not married. What is this obsession that she has with wives cheating? Wives that don't even exist. This officer doesn't even have a wife. I'm not married, so. Hey, he's opening the door. Jake, he's opening the door. Okay, I'll roll down the window a little bit. Huh? 
<laughs> now, who raised this child? I would love to get a glimpse of her mother because, I mean, she has some serious, serious aggression problems, okay? Do you have his info? No, he's not coming back. He's lying. You got your Eventually, the male was identified, cleared, and released from the scene. All right. I'm trying to be difficult. I'm so sorry. All right, Mr. Rodriguez. Okay, we're going to get you out of the wheelchair. Go ahead and stand up. I'm crippled, bro. I know. I'm 21 years old. I'm crippled. I know. I'm getting you out of the wheelchair. Stand up. What am I in the wheelchair for? Because it was the only chair they had. Stand up. Okay, if I take that spit hood off, are you going to spit on me? No, I'm not going to spit on you. Well, you were spitting. Yeah, I was. Okay, I'm going to help you out. Let you use the bathroom, okay? I'm going to spit on you. I promise. Promise? Yes. I really do promise I ain't going to spit on you. I'm nah. sorry. Bathroom's over here. Come over here. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. The ankle one? All that tough girl acting, right? And here she is crying like a baby because that's what she is, okay? What is, like, these kids, uh, it, like, the aggression is nuts. And she's not a kid. I mean, I'm looking at her like she's, you know, like like she's 13 or something, but she's actually 21. Like, you're an adult. You have to know better at this point, and you have other cases going on in Albuquerque. I mean... Come on, you don't learn your lesson. The ankle one? <laughs> Relax, so I can adjust this. Been on days way too long. I'm ready to go back to nights. Yeah, like that. <laughs> you know what's happening? I don't. Oh, you okay, just. Nope. No, what? What are you doing? It's like, Can't stay in a relationship long enough. <laughs> I don't have now she's trying to have conversations with the cop. She's trying to, like, talk him down. You have no kids? Why? What are you doing? Like, lady, you just literally made an, a scene to the point where they had to cuff your ankles and place you in the back of the car. Now you want to have a conversation? <laughs> I want I don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be up here a while. Alright. Alright. Have a seat. I'm saying you can. I don't want. I don't want to make my mom feel weird. Okay. I'm saying she's supposed to cut my hair and my boyfriend's hair. She's a barber. Mm -hmm. You are more than welcome to stop by, walk in, and she already told me. Okay. Come back. Um, I'm just gonna walk over there and see what the fuck they're doing. You gotta have a seat. Can you walk with me then? Can't go over there. You can't? No. Or you just don't want to? We can't. You're in custody. I have to have it here. I have to take you to jail. Well, we have to get this done first. We can get that done first. We gotta clean, do they gotta clean your knee up. They gotta do the yeah, x-ray. touch my knee until my mama knows where the f*** I'm at. Okay. And if you want to tell them that, I, that's fine. I am not on Southwestern. Okay. My mama knows everything. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, then she's a terrible mama. Because <laughs> if she understands and knows how you behave, she should have done something about it long ago. <laughs> she going to know what I'm at. All right. Once we get to the jail. Jail. So you got to have a seat. I know. I'm a crooked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I can't even go to my mom's shop right now if I don't know. Oh man, I apologize, but I can't make any in the stop for So what the f I just sit here and say what? Oh, we're going to the jail. Yeah, so what the f do I say? Hey, I'm in jail because I didn't have a f ID. What the f 
do you want me to say, bro? What do you want me to say? How much you want me to pay you? <laughs> now, now she's trying to bribe the cops. <laughs> she's trying to pull pull money out and and bribe the cops. I mean, first of all. This is how delusional she is. She's asking them to stop at her mother's barber shop. <laughs> on the way to jail. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. How much? What's worth it for you? What? What do you want? Uh, don't talk like that. You'll just get yourself in more trouble. Obviously, it is a f***ing matter what trouble I'm in. Because I didn't... Nothing, and I'm in the f of a back cop car, and I did nothing to you. Can you show me the proof where I did something to you? It wasn't me. It was the other officer. Oh, I'm saying, why'd you arrest me then? I did. Why'd you arrest me? No. Why am I in the back of a cop car right now? It was transporting. Okay, but why? Where? Where's the proof? And the legalization? Where? Where? Why are you arresting me? In New Mexico State. What did I do wrong? I know you kicked one of the officers. Well, first of all, you kicked an officer in the face and broke his glasses off, and it's on camera. And somebody reported you for domestic violence against your own boyfriend who's been released by the way <laughs> you know exactly why you're in the back of that car going to jail okay because you got other cases in albuquerque now you're not going to show up to court because you're in jail see how the cycle continues what did i do wrong where where's the film and where's the video from their body camera Okay, so they got that ready or not? This bench has been updated. So why am I going to take it right now? It's going to jail right now. I'm going to jail, but y'all don't even have proof. Does that make any sense to y'all? And this is the that busted me out in the mouth, but y'all are taking his side. And he's from Peckles. I'm from Carlsbad. He's from Pecos, Albuquerque. Y'all gonna take his side? A man's side? That can beat the f out of me in 2.5 seconds, which he has. Why do you think he has so many court cases? Y'all don't care though, right? As long as y'all got somebody. As long as y'all did something that day. See, now she's going to pull the whole female and you're going to believe a man over me, you know, rhetoric. I mean, typical, right? I mean, th the sad thing is, is that that's, again, culture. This is how culture affects crime and crime affects culture. She also thinks that because she's a female, she can do anything she wants. She can behave as such. She can kick an officer in the face, break his glasses off. Also, you know punch, scratch, and do whatever to her boyfriend and 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 not have to be accountable for anything because she's a female. Hmm. Well, we'll see how that works out, huh? Because right now she's heading to jail. I don't give a f Yeah, put on your glasses. Shut the f You had a Cigarette and a lighter. Don't. Why well, I do, so can I light it back here? I don't have a cigarette. So can I light it back here? Oh. Now, you know, the more she starts talking, the more I start to think that she's high on something as well. Doesn't it seem like she's high? Hey, ah. Uh, you're gonna f with me, I'm gonna f with you, bro. You don't wanna, you wanna act silent? No, 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 you wanna act like you can't talk to me? You can f talk to me like a normal person, but you choose not to. So I'm gonna not talk to you like a normal person, okay? You wanna be a dumb 
I'm gonna be dumb. All you can do is talk to me, but you don't. We're talking. What are talking about? My God. Why the f am I the one getting f arrested? What the f First of all, let's let's also let, let's let's remember something. When she was initially talking to the cops, she said, "Arrest me! I'm the one that did it. I'm the one that did it. He didn't do anything." So now you're asking why you're the one getting arrested? <laughs> you have so many complaints on all oh, everybody else, but me, right? Obviously, you're a new cop, aren't you? New here, yeah. You ain't from here. I am not. Okay, then. Thank you. You ain't from here, then. She knows all the police. She, her uncle's gonna bail her out. Call my mother. Call my uncle. You're not from here. You're new. I mean, God, this, this is, like, clearly she has serious problems with the law. Okay. Because she knows everybody. There you go. I'll be out here in a second without your f***ing help. Bye. You got that? You got, you got that weapon? Can you shoot me in the head? Yeah? Shut the f up. One, five, ten, traffic. Your traffic, you stupid. Yeah. You don't even know the f you know they're saying half the time. Hey. Fuck it off! You didn't let me out with that! Cause I didn't do oh, to you. I didn't do to you. So you can't get the fuck out like a normal person. So I know drug dealer, I know drunk me fuck you off. I'm dating a drug dealer, but I know drug dealer. Ooh, she's dating a drug dealer. Okay, now she's incriminating him. I mean, man, you know what? We have got to do something about this drug epidemic. Okay? I don't think legalizing this weed and doing all this stuff is helping these kids at all. Seriously. She's clearly high on something. Pills, something. Maybe not alcohol, but she's on something. Drug dealer. So you mean like a lady? No, oh, I act like a lady. You know what I mean? Not if you kick in the door. I ain't gonna act like a lady. Gonna be all right. She'd be in the back of the car. Step over this way. I act like a lady? Any other way. Step over this way. Here, look. I didn't do nothing wrong. Dude, we're gonna figure that out. Okay, well, I'm gonna call my lawyer. Well, call my lawyer, we'll get you just out. Call my lawyer, we'll get you on the phone with us right now. Here we go, another one with a criminal. Now, we know she's got a criminal attorney because she's dealing with another case. Okay, in Albuquerque, which is why she was supposed to get home. I mean, I I'm just saying. It it it's like, now, you know what, actually, now it may be starting to make sense. Now, if her boyfriend is a drug dealer, that's why he didn't. not only didn't want to give his name, but maybe it's why he didn't want them to arrest her either because she may give him up. <laughs> the plot thickens. Uh, I ain't going no better. Mm -hmm. I ain't going no better. The female was charged with criminal damage to property, assault upon a peace officer, battery upon a peace officer, resisting arrest, and domestic battery. YouTube thinks you'll love the video on screen. Click to watch now. <laughs> so she's going away for a minute, all right? And clearly she's got other cases and her boyfriend's probably gonna end up in trouble too, okay? Because let's face it, when it comes down to it, if she does get in some serious trouble or has other cases pending that are causing her to be in serious trouble, she's going to take a plea deal and throw him under the bus. <laughs> that is how crime and culture merge. <laughs> All right, no accountability. The two of them are obviously, you know, up to no good and costing the taxpayers money as usual. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Crime and Culture Unfiltered. I am DeBrava. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support my work. Thank you guys for being here. I'll see you on the next one.